Hello again, and welcome back to another F Mod and Unity tutorial. Today we're going to be doing something nice and easy. We're just going to be looking at creating reverb zones uh, in Unity and with F Mod uh, in a very simple way. So hopefully this won't be too long of a video, and will be great for anyone who's looking at you know just setting up a quick demonstration or something using it, or getting into F Mod and Unity for the first time. Uh, cool. So let's jump straight into it. Uh, as you can see, I'm currently in the mixer window of FMOD, and I've got two buses here. I've got a SFX group bus and a reverb return bus, uh, which is, well, the reverb return bus is one that should be set up automatically when you boot up uh, an FMOD project, new or old. Um, and the FX group bus I've created myself, and I've just sent all my sound effects to. Uh, so what I've done, as you can see, I've created a send uh, to the reverb bus. Uh, all you've got to do, all you need to do to do that <laughs> is add effect and go to reverb. Uh, so, no, sorry. No, that's wrong. You go add send reverb, not add effect. Add send and then you just set the volume of which you want to send it to. Uh, cool. Once you've done that, you want to go to reverb and basically just set up your reverb that you like the sound of. Now you go to add effect and add reverb. Uh, great. Uh, as you might notice here, I've got my wet level and dry level both down to the lowest they can go. Uh, the reason why is because in this demonstration, I don't want any reverb um, playing when the player's not in a reverb zone. Uh, you might find, you know, depending on what you're doing, you might want them to be, in which case you just pull the wet level up. Uh, but in my case, I want to hear no reverb. Or alternatively, you could pull the fader down on the bus. It's up to you. Uh, I've also not got the dry level down. Reason why is because where I've got this send going from the sound effects, uh, the sound effects bus to the reverb bus, uh, I've also got uh, because the bus is all just sent to the master bus anyway. I've also got a send going to the master bus. Um, so this basically means I've got two signals going. One, all of my sound effects are going through the SFX group bus, and then the master bus, then to my ears. Uh, they're also going through the uh, SFX group bus, then splitting and going to the reverb bus, then the the master bus, and then to my ears, okay? Uh, so I've got two signals uh, going through these buses, one through SFX, one through, one through reverb. Now, if I put the dry level up on the reverb here, we're basically going to get the same signal playing twice, and that's not going to sound good. It's going to sound like there's a weird Weird, really weird short delay on everything and everything's going to sound louder so we don't want that so we're only going to want to affect up the wet level because the wet level is the signal with uh, just the reverb applied okay cool so now that we've got that out of the way let's jump into our snapshots which is something we've looked at before on this channel uh, but we're not going to luckily the snapshots we're messing around with today aren't too complex and nice and simple so I've got two here because I'm going to just figured I'd demonstrate this twice. I've got Reverb Room 1 and Reverb Room 2, which I've created, okay? Uh, so uh, what I did is I quickly right-clicked and just set up a preset. I think I picked for Reverb Room 1, I picked Bathroom. And then for Reverb Room 2, I I can't even remember what I picked. Uh, something different anyway, just to demonstrate it. Uh, and as you can see, the wet level is now up on both of them. So when these snapshots are applied in Unity, uh, the reverb settings are going to change to what you see here. Okay, so when our player walks into a reverb zone, the snapshot will be triggered and the uh, settings will change and bang, we'll get reverb. Nice and easy. So once you've set that up, we you just want to go build and you should be good to go. So let's quickly jump into Unity now and see what we have to do on that side. Uh, so as you can see, I've got two little, I don't even know what you call these, houses, caves, something. <laughs> something you'd hear reverb in. Uh, and I've also, what I've done is I've put trigger boxes in. I think I did this once before in another video uh, to set up some reverb, but it wasn't a very efficient way of doing it. So hence why I've, you know, I'm doing another video on it. Uh, so what we want to do, or what I've done rather, is I've set up some trigger boxes. As you can see, I've got the, uh, these, this little green box here is my trigger box. Uh, I've got my box collider on with the is trigger box ticked. Uh, and I've also got the FMOD Studio Event Emitter script ready to go. Uh, and what I've told it to do is I want it to play the snapshot uh, when we enter this trigger and then stop the snapshot when we exit the trigger. And the same for, if I go to this other one here, same for this trigger box here, uh, except I want it to play a different snapshot, okay? 
So really nice and easy. No coding required, luckily, for us today. So let's jump in uh, and see what we can hear. So I've just got the player's, player's footsteps playing to demonstrate this. If I walk over here, there we go, we can hear some reverb. And now if I leave it and enter the other reverb zone, we've got a different reverb playing. Cool, so really nice and easy stuff. And again, great for anyone who's just looking at jumping around, jumping into F Modern Unity together and messing around with some reverb. Uh, cool, so really, really short uh, video today. Uh, just thought it would be kind of essential. I was looking back over my old videos and realized whilst I have messed around with reverb a bit, not really done this, this, you know, efficient way to do reverb zones. Uh, so, as always, let me know if there's anything you want me to look at with, with Unity F Mod. I love hearing your guys' suggestions. Uh, and I'll see you in the next one. Have a good one.